Okay, let's go ahead and get your regular T-beam bit up into this solar node enclosure. Now, first thing we want to do is set the T-beam off to the side and open up this enclosure. All we want out of it is this bag and this case. Okay, it's just the case is just velcroed into place. Let's pull it out. Move it out the way. All right, now let's go ahead and dump out the contents of this bag. Right here. All right. I want you to take this case and separate the lid from the frame set the lid aside okay as you see a hole in this top part right here this is where your t-beam goes oh wait a minute hold on before you do all that you got to do something with this gps antenna okay so in this bag there's a little a little double-sided piece of tape and I want you to stick this double-sided piece of tape right over the positive blob of solder and peel that tape off and let's go ahead and stick this bad boy down a lot of times what I'll do is I'll, I'll turn it a couple of times just to get a nice little curl to it and it'll it'll help hold it it'll help hold it off or it'll keep the wire from getting all crazy on you in the box and then you can just bend that wire over like that okay some people around here have really loud exhaust pipes oh come on GPS wire. Let's help it a little bit. All right, now we should be good to get down in there. And the GPS unit is still in the way. There we go. Now we're cooking the gas. can even put that double sided tape up against the the edge of this right here instead okay anyway that's good now we're ready to put the case cover on after we take one of these hold down pads that came in the bag and we're going to stick one right here just like that I'm going to take another one, peel the little thing off, sometimes it's a little hard to get off of there. Make sure that T-beam is seated, put the other one down in that corner right there. Okay, you'll notice on this lens that there's a rounded spot right there that rounded spot is made to go around the antenna port right there so we're just going to slip this lens down right on top of everything and you'll feel that it still is held off a little bit right and that's from those hold down pads and for the expediency of this video I'm only going to use two screws that came with it these little black screws and you don't want to over tighten them they'll strip it's just plastic and you just want to get it in there tight enough to hold that lens down properly and nice and flat okay now uh, move this antenna out of the way 
bring your solar node and enclosure out and then let's go ahead and open it up and you can use the case that your t-beam came in to kind of hold that lid up while you're working on stuff All right. now the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to attach this antenna to the box you can use your factory antenna I recommend a better antenna but you can use your factory antenna just fine and we're going to screw it right into this port right here remember on a t-beam you power up that bad boy without an antenna connected well you'll be ordering another one because you'll burn up the radio chipset on it very quickly because it's a radio <laughs> all right now uh, we can go ahead and screw in our antenna cable into the unit all right so we're just going to kind of get it started and turn this guy ah, and turn this guy on there it's kind of hard to get your finger on it so it's easier to just kind of get it on those threads and go ahead and turn it on there like that once it gets finger tight you can take you a pair of needle nose pliers and just make sure that it's tight don't over tighten it okay now he's ready <coughs> now we can go ahead and plug the battery in this is what I normally do with my batteries I put a little piece of tape on them like that make a little flag on them and that makes it a lot easier to pull that battery out of it. It's very tough to pull a battery out of a, a out of a T-beam. And once you get it in there, they're tough to pull out. So you might want to make you something like that on your battery. And we're going to put it in there, positive to positive, negative to negative. Okay. And let's see if it'll go ahead and power up on its own. A lot of times they'll just power up all on their all by their lonesomes with the battery in there see if it does I guess this one is not going to so let's go ahead and hit our power button okay Go ahead and turn it on. Now we're ready for our power cable. Plug your power cable into the power port. I ain't got my glasses on. Okay. Now at this point, now is the time you want to flash your unit if you want to flash your unit or, or whatever or go into client. And you, you just use this cable that it came with, plug this into your computer, go to flasher and flash it with whatever firmware you desire and then go to client and do your basic settings on it, setting up your region and stuff like that. But let's assume that all that's done. Now, I'm going to get this back into the box, like that. There is a little cutout right here in this bottom pan, and that's where that battery sits down in there, so it just doesn't stick so far up. And then, I'm gonna plug it into solar. All right. We're ready to close this thing up. Make sure you don't pinch that wire right there. This uh, is a little piece of protective film that you want to pull off of here now. I just put that on there to keep it from getting scratched up on my bench when I'm working on stuff and building them. and. You know, you can leave it on there until you actually get it mounted up somewhere. Speaking of mounting, 
these brackets right here you can use zip ties big long zip ties through them strap them to a tree you can use uh, uh, you know uh, screw in hose clamps big ones uh, I mean you can put a piece of metal on a tree and hang this thing on a piece of metal it's really up to you however you want to hang it I mean everybody's going to do something different so I mean if you were going to suspend it from a tree or something like that you just loop you some paracord through it and raise it up to the raise it up in the air I mean everybody's got a different way how they're going to mount it so I'm not even going to go through all the mounting you know possibilities that could occur but these brackets will be useful pretty much for any uh, thing uh, that's really it you're ready to go that's a working unit in a solar case and you were ready to, to put that thing somewhere anyway see you later